I would like to talk to you about induction of labor. So the normal duration of pregnancy is 9 months and 7 days or 280 days or 40 weeks and majority of women will get into labor uh, by this time. Now in case even by due date you don't get into labor, we have two options. Option one is to wait for one more week uh, or to induce labor. Where as we are waiting beyond due date, there is a chance that the amount of water which is there around the baby might start coming down. Uh, the baby's movements might reduce, the baby might pass motion while inside the uterus. So as we wait beyond the due date, there is these concerns uh, for the baby. So though under close monitoring, we can wait till 41 weeks in uncomplicated low risk pregnancies. Majority of the time, by due date, if labor pain doesn't start, we would like to induce labor. So how do we induce labor? There are three methods uh, that we generally use. Uh, one method is called as the Foley's induction. In this process, we inject a we, we put a tube inside the uterus. This tube has an inflatable balloon. So we inflate it with uh, fluid and mechanically the neck of the womb starts opening up. This is called Foley's induction. The second method is called oral mesoprostol. So this is a tablet that we give every four hours and usually a maximum of six tablets can be given. About 90% of women will get into labor with this tablet. And if she uh, doesn't get into labor, we have another option which is called SS gel, prostaglandin gel. So this is placed into the neck of the womb or in the vagina every six hours for a maximum of three doses. So with all these methods, usually as I said, more than 90% of women will get into labor and if they don't get into labor in spite of that we have again two options we can wait for a day and try again or we can go for a c-section now before we induce labor we would like to know what is the probability that this woman will have a successful induction of labor so for that we do some checks which is called as a bishop score so when we do an internal examination we find that if the cervix or the neck of the womb is soft if it is in the mid position if it is already opened up slightly and the head is well inside the pelvis, these are all favorable factors. If the head is not yet entered the pelvis, and the cervix is long, thick and placed on the back side of the vagina, then these are not favorable for a successful vaginal delivery. So in spite of being unfavorable, we will still try induction, but this will give us an idea what is the chance of the woman likely to respond to induction of labor.